Yo guys, this is your artist Tolgard and welcome to a new tutorial on my YouTube channel. Today I will show you how to draw Broly full power from Dragon Ball Super. Let's talk about the materials first. The paper I am using here is from Copic. It's 250 gram thick and high quality as you can see. There is a link to this paper in my description box so make sure to get this one. We also need a pencil, an eraser and a ruler. For these materials, you can choose anything you're comfortable with. So, before we start with the drawing, we will do some guidelines. We will have the A4 size paper in portrait mode and then we will add a small guideline at 9cm for the face. The guideline will be 3cm. Perfect. If you got that, we can start with drawing Broly. I always start with the face, to be exact, with the wrinkles between the eyebrows. And I apologize for the shaking guys, but it will be over in a few seconds. Then we will continue with drawing the eyebrows. Use the length of the guideline for the eyebrows. some wrinkles above the eyebrows because Broly is very angry. Then we will draw his eyes. We will place the eyes between the eyebrows and the guideline. Then we will draw the nose at the center of his face. Add some wrinkles around the nose as well. Right below the nose we will draw his mouth. First draw just the shape of the mouth. You will see that I always like to draw the shape of the specific body part first because if you are not happy with the shape you can erase it very easily. Broly is pressing his teeth together which make him look very angry. Add some wrinkles around his mouth as well. Then we will use the guideline again to draw his face shape. And as you can see all of the face features are around the guideline. Add the scar on his cheek and then you can draw the shape of the ears. We will not complete the ears because his hair will cover most of them. The massive neck of Broly will start under the ear lobes and to make him look even more badass we will draw him battle damage. So add some scratches all over his face. Now to the hair. We will draw some hair strands in front of his face. Just like that guys, when you're finished with the shape of the hair strands, you can add the hairline to them. Now to the main hair. The hair of Broly has many individual hair strands which are curved and spiky. You can draw a guideline as I did here to keep everything in place.
I think that looks very good. The traps of Broly are very massive, just like his entire body. Add some more hair strands and then you can draw the hair lines on each hair strand. Great, now we can move on to the body. We will draw the shape of the chest and the shoulder muscles first. This will make it way easier for us to keep everything in place and the proportions to be perfect. When you're happy with the shape, you can add the definition to the muscles. As you guys know, Broly has huge muscles in his full power form, so we will draw him like that. We will add a lot of definition to the muscles to make him look ripped and powerful. And I will of course upload the real time video of this drawing on my new channel called Tollguard Real Time, so you guys will have an even easier time to follow my steps. So make sure to subscribe to my new channel to improve your art skills even more. First link in the description. You can also use a ruler to get the perfect proportions for your character. That looks great. Now we will draw the big scar on Broly's chest and we'll add more scratches all over his muscles. Perfect. Now to the arms and the abdominal area. Again, draw the shape and when you're happy with the shape, you can add the details into it. We will start with the abs. The abs will also be very defined, so we will give Broly some big ab muscles. And don't forget the little scar and the scratches. And before we draw his arms, we will draw the fur around his waist. So draw the shape of the thigh or note, whatever you want to call it, and then add the details. To make the fur look very hairy, we have to draw it very detailed and with many small peaks or spikes. Just like that guys. Now we can move on to the massive and big arms of Broly. Again we will draw the shape and then we will add the bicep, tricep and all the other small muscles to the arms. The arms will also be very defined. We 
will also add a big vein to his bicep to give him a badass look. Great. Broly has big bracelets which are covering most of his forearms. These have a very simple design, so just watch how I do it. Broly's hands are shaped into a fist, so we will draw just shape again and then adding all the knuckles, veins and definition to the fist. Just like that. And as you can see, I keep improving the sketch until I'm 100% happy with it. Perfectionism and stuff. And now we will do the exact same thing on the other arm. I always have an easier time drawing the other arm because I already drew one arm. Is it the same with you? Let me know that in the comments guys. I think I don't have to explain the same process again. So just listen to the music and follow my steps. The only difference on this arm is that Broly has a big scar on the left arm. We will also not forget the scratches and I will draw the bracelets a little damaged as well. Okay, looks very good. Now we will draw the rest of the fur. And remember, to make the fur look very hairy, we have to draw it with a lot of details and many many small spikes. The legs are very little to see. Broly is wearing very tight pants, so the muscles of his legs are very visible. And that's the sketch guys. But you always have to take a good look at the final sketch, because now you have the chance to change and to improve. If you look at Broly, you see that his body is looking perfect, but there is something wrong with his head. It seems to be a little too small for his body, which is true. Therefore we have to draw the hair a little bigger, but that's not a problem at all. That's what the sketch is for. What we are going to do now is to draw the hair strands a little bigger, very simple. Just watch how I do it and follow my steps. <laughs>
okay that's it now if you look at it the head fits way better to his body now the sketch is complete and we can move on to the inking so guys for the inking i love to use this pen from copic which is 0.05 millimeters size this small tip allows you to ink very accurate you can find the link to this product also down below in the info box so there is actually not very much to say about the inking as you can see i do it very slow relax and i keep my hand comfortable you can also move the paper if it makes it easier for you but that's pretty much the process of the inking maybe some of you have shaky hands but that's normal by practicing you will get more confident and over time you will get better with your inking Okay, the ink is done guys. Now we have to erase all the pencil lines. I got this eraser from Faber Castell, but you can use any eraser you have at home. But I would recommend a colorless eraser, just to make sure that the paper stays clean. While erasing, you have to be very careful that you're not doing it too fast. You can mess up the paper that way. That's one of the reasons I like to use thicker paper. <music> Okay, and the drawing is clean. But that's only the first layer of ink guys. I always do a second layer of ink, as you guys know by now. It's kind of a double check on the inking to improve certain areas. But I also like to give my drawings some thicker lines. I think it gives my drawings a special and unique look. Therefore, we will use the same pen and we are going pretty much over every line again. The difference at the end is huge, so try it out and ink your drawings that way. So guys, now we are done with the inking. The inking turned out very clean and as I told you the thicker lines are looking amazing. Now we can start to color Broly, let's go. If you are following me for a while, you know that I always use Copic Cho markers for the coloring. These are alcohol based markers which allows you to blend the colors perfectly. For me these are the best out there. The price is high but they are worth it. You can find the link to the markers also down below in the info box. We will start with coloring the skin of Broly. Therefore we need 5 different color tones. The first one is E50 which is the brightest color tone for the skin. We will use it on the outer part of the shoulder. We will pretend that the light is shining from the left which makes the left side of Broly brighter. 
Now we will use E33 as the main color tone for the skin. With that, we will cover almost the entire shoulder of Broly. We will also use the definition of the muscles to place the shades. Then we will use E21 for some brighter shades. Just like that. Now we will use the color tone E37 to add some darker shades to the muscles. Dark shades are very important for the contrast. And when you're done, do some blending with E33. Perfect. And this is how we will color the entire skin guys. And we will also add some blood to Broly with a red color pencil. The thing on my pencil is just a pencil extender because people ask me so often about it. We will also add some more definition to the scratches with a black colored pencil. And yes, that's the process for coloring the skin. Same for the chest. Use E50 and cover the lower and upper chest with it. Then use E33 to add big shades on the center of the pack. Now use E21 for the lighter shades. Great! Now we will use E37 again to add the dark shades to the muscles, which gives the skin a lot of definition. Use the lines of the muscles to add the dark shades. And now we can blend the colors again and add the blood to the scratches. Perfect guys, now we will do the same thing on the right side of Broly, but this side will have way more darker shades, because we pretend that the light is shining from the left, therefore we have to use the darker color tones E33 and E37 way more. Great. And to give it even more definition, we will use an even darker color tone with E29. Use this one on the outer part of the muscles and when you're done, you can blend the colors again and add the blood. Okay, now to the shoulder. We will not use the color tone E50 on this side, so use E21 very lightly on the outer part of the shoulder and then cover the entire shoulder with E33. Then use E37 to add some big dark shades on the outer part of the shoulder. I'm 
Great. Now use E29 to increase the contrast and add more definition to the muscles. Then we are going to do a second layer with E33 and blending the colors and of course don't forget the blood. Looks perfect guys. Same process on the traps and neck. We will use E50 lightly on the left side and then we will cover the rest with E33. Then we will do the darker shading with E37. Use the definition of the muscle to place the shading. After that, we will use E29 to do even darker shades more on the right side. Then we will use E33 again to do a second layer and to blend the colors, adding the blood with the red color pencil too. Now to the abdominal area, same process here as well guys, the left side of the abs will be brighter and the right side will have darker shades, same order of colors here as well. This is by far my favorite skin color combination. I combined them on a lot of drawings of mine. It gives a kind of a 3D illusion. It's like the muscles are popping out. Now to the arms. The arm on the left side will be very bright, so we will use the color tone E50 again on the outer part of the muscles. Then we will use E33 and we will cover the rest of the arm with it. Great. Now use E21 to add some brighter shades. We will use a darker skin tone E37 very little on this arm. Just adding some small dark shades to give the muscles more definition. Adding some blood to the arm and we are using the black pencil to give them scratches some more definition. Perfect. The other arm will be way darker. Use E21 on the outer part of the muscles and then cover the rest with E33. We will use E37 way more on this arm. Add some big shades along with the muscles, just as I do here. Mm -hmm. 
Then use E29 to increase the contrast and to give the muscles more definition. When you're done, do a second layer with E33 and blend the colors. Let's add the blood too. Okay guys, now to the fists, same process here as well. The left side will be brighter and the right side darker. You know the order of the color tones and you know the process, so let's do it. So guys, let's move on to the last skin part, the face. The left side of the face will be brighter as well. Nevertheless, we will use E33 as the main color tone here as well. Some darker shades with E37 along with the wrinkles of the face and of course more on the right side. Increasing the contrast of E29 and then we can do a second layer with E33 again. Adding the blood to Broly's face and then we are done with the skin guys. That was the biggest area to color so most of the drawing is done already. Now we will add some shading to the eyes and teeth with C3, also more on the right side. Perfect. For the scars, we need two color tones. Cover the scars with E04 and then do the shading with R59. Great, then we will move on with the bracelets. Use V91 for the bright areas on the outer part of the bracelets. Then use V09 as the main color tone. And then we will do the shading with the black marker. Do many layers with the black marker to cover the dark area evenly. And as you can see, I also use a black pen for the accuracy. Then we will use V15 to increase the contrast. Perfect. Now we will color the rings of the bracelets in the following order of color tones.
Just like that guys. Now some blending and that's it. Looks badass. Same process on the other side guys. You can do it. So let's go. Looks great guys. Now we will move on to the pants. Therefore we will use the same color tones as for the bracelets. Start with V09 and then cover the entire left part of each leg with it. Just leave some small white parts which we will color with V15 later. Then use a black marker again and cover the entire right side of each leg with it. Also use the muscles of the legs as orientation to place the shading. As you can see I am using the black pen again for the accuracy. Just like that guys, do many layers with the black marker until it's covered evenly and then do a second layer with V09. Perfect. Now to the fur. We will start with the note. For the inner side of the fur we will use YG91. For the shading we will use Y28. And the last color tone is W7. With that we will increase the contrast and add some more definition to it. Do some blending at the end and then we are going to do the same below. Perfect guys, now to the main fur. Use G02 as the brightest color tone and cover the outer part with it. Then we will use G05 to add the shading. We will add big shades with that color tone, again on the right side. Make sure to use the tip of the marker like a brush. It will make the fur look really hairy. Looking good. Now we will use G28 to add darker green shading to the fur. And you can blend the colors again at the end. We will continue like that for the rest of the fur. Use G02 again and cover the outer part of the fur with it. Then 
then we will use G05 again and we will add big shades on the inner part of the fur and more on the right side. Remember, use a marker like a brush just as I do here. Great, now to give the fur more definition we will use G28 again. We will use this color tone again like a brush to give the fur the hairy effect. Perfect. Now do some blending and then we will do the same process on the other side. The only difference is that this side will be way darker again. So use the darker color tones G05 and G28 way more. We will also add an even darker shading with C7 on this side to increase the contrast even more. And that's it guys. Some blending and then we can move on to the last part of Broly, the hair. Okay, therefore we need four different color tones. We will start with YG00. Use this color tone for the outer part of each hair strand on the left side. Perfect. Now use G14 as the main color tone and cover the rest of the hair with it. Great, now we will do the first shading with G05. Use the hair lines to place the shading to the hair. And remember, bigger shades on the right side of the hair. Now to the last color tone which is G28. We will use this color tone very little on the left side and a lot more on the right side. We will also use the hairlines as orientation to place the shading. Adding the shades to the last hair strand and then we are almost done. After we do the blending I will now use the black color pencil and with that I will give them hair even more definition.
Okay guys, now we are done. That was a lot of work, but we did it. Let's take a look at the final result. And I have to say, I'm really, really happy with the final result. Broly looks very powerful, angry and ready to fight. The coloring turned out amazing, especially on the skin. The line work is very clean and the proportions are on point. I hope you had an easy time to follow my steps. If you enjoyed the tutorial and if you like the straving of Broly, let me know that in the comments below and give this video a like. If you are new on my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the alarm bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. I will upload the real-time driving video on my new channel Tollguard Real Time as well, so make sure to check that out too. First link down below. Enough talk, that's it for today guys. Thank you very much for watching and I see you on the next video. Until then, stay healthy, stay fit, be a good person, be you and always remember, you are the designer of your own life.